Hi friends, it's TJ Universe here with my good friend Roris. Say hello. Hi, hello. How are you? It's me, Roris. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Get out. I don't Get know why already. I really go on Dr. Susie. Yeah, you know. So if you don't know, so far Roris has uh, is the creator of our theme song, has been doing editing. We'll even go with counseling. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it feels like a, I kind of, I kind of took over our social media. Um, so I get a good ha hand at that. Most of what you see posted is probably from me. Um, so that's fun. I do a very have my battle edited social. by you. <laughs> Most, yeah. Graphically, we leave that. We've got a have a great person on that because it is not my strong suit but yeah text wise that's where I'm at uh but no yeah we started kind of with the theme song that was kind of my original well writing and music were kind of my initial tasks that we had talked about you know having my hand right. in um and both I like to think are very strong you know suits of mine especially writing it's something I've literally done most of my life in some fashion or another um, and then same with music, have been involved in, uh, you know, chorus, choir, band, uh, gymnastics, dance, uh, anything that, you know, is kind of rhythmic or involves, you know, rhythm and music. And I'm not an expert on theory by any means, but there's basic stuff that's there. So that's really nice too. So it was a nice, uh, exciting, different kind of project that it was uh, fun to like musically be involved in. And then that just branched into everything else <laughs> everything <laughs> everything else, else. yeah <laughs> speaking Ooh. of so you know because we have I, we have to address this have you really done anything considering that last week amanda clearly said that she was running the show so i mean you know i'm just curious to to what your thoughts might be on that I don't even know if I know what an eight count is, apparently. <laughs> Have I, do I do anything around here? No, I'm just kidding. We love Amanda. Uh, but dearie, oh dearie, dearie, oh dearie, let me tell you when I say sometimes it feels like I have done something of everything. <laughs> it started, like I said, with music and writing. Those are my two. But then maybe you had a question or you had an idea. Or maybe I had an idea. And it just happened to work. And it really became, I have my my two little grubby fingers and a lot of little pots <laughs> in the <whole> project. <laughs> you know, all I'm not joking in any way, aside. Form complaining because obviously I took it on. I'm excited about doing it. I'm enjoying doing it. Uh, and it just kind of speaks to the the project that we're working on. It's exciting and fun to be a part of. Uh, but it is, it is. Amanda, I'm coming for your gigs. I'm going to knock you out. I do, I'm going to do everything. <laughs> Considering that we live five minutes away from each other and that we talk every single day, you have really had your hands in a lot of the pieces. I mean, Rora's fans was there the night that Finding Sir Sinus officially started the night that I sat down on my couch and was like, hmm, I'm gonna write down this weird idea that I have. So like- Just a thought. You've really been a big part of it. <laughs> and it's been fun. And for one, like, thanks for including me because it's nice to feel like I have something to offer, of course, and that, you know, I maybe have knowledge or experience or something that can help. So that's been fun. Uh, but yeah, it's just been like, it's always fun to watch people grow especially people you know and people you're close with and that in itself can be inspirational to yourself and be like well they're doing their stuff why aren't I doing my stuff so like it kind of has pushed me to work on my own things and make sure I'm getting my stuff done which has been fun and nice thank you but, I try real hard to practice what I preach <laughs> <laughs> but even outside of the two of us obviously uh you have um other people very close by involved in this project who we will meet later <laughs> but <laughs> uh, <laughs> next week <laughs> uh, but it's been fun to just even while we were 
initially creating the theme song for the show. It was, uh, you know, four of us in my little, you know, beginnings of a studio upstairs. Uh, we were just, you were working on writing and we had somebody working on graphics and me and you were working on music and trying to get things together and just being in that situation with the creative energies, even though we're doing different things and we have different focuses, it's just, it flows and you feel it. Uh, and so I think it has helped the project a lot having close by people and then even people from further away, Amanda and other friends who have different points of views and different perspectives that we can just, what do you think of this? Or we thought about this, does this make sense? Or does this resonate with you at all? Or like, you know, does this give you any sort of feeling? Uh, so having a close knit, but spread out team, I think has been extremely beneficial uh, to us in this, yeah. in this venture. I would definitely agree. This <laughs> writing and creating this has been 100% so far and hopefully continues to be a joy. Definitely. It has been amazing. So like when you were creating our theme song, what, like what was going through your head? Like, did you have an idea already? Was it just kind of like a, a come as it goes? How did that work out? Yeah, so first and foremost, props and credit where credit's due. I am just in the past year or so getting into my more world of production of music and creating and writing my own more, you know, showing more of myself in music versus just listening to music and dancing to music and all of the other fun things <laughs> of it. So <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> everything else of music. But so in that process, of course, it is a lot of, you know, a lot uh, learning um, knowledge. I've been relearning the piano. I am taking, you know, watching videos, taking like online courses for production and music theory and everything I feel like might help me, you know, in this uh, venture of mine. So not having a vast history in it thus far, we started really simple with GarageBand and Apple Loops. So credit where credit's due, everything that you hear with some minor adjustments is probably an Apple loop. There are some things that were kind of recreated by hand just because then maybe it needed to sound just like this or it needed to be kind of like this. But uh, it was a really fun process to literally sit with you for hours. We got the whole basis of the entire song together in one night and just probably like six to eight hours, it was done and then just had to be tweaked and perfected and mixed and mastered. And that was the, the, the weeks that followed <laughs> that, are still, that are still happening uh, in the back of my mind. Uh, so it is something I'm very excited to continue to transform and customize and make more ours and unique as we go along this journey. But uh, the process itself was, yeah, m me, you, and you know a couple more people and we sat in a room and we just clicked through and said, what do we think? How does this sound? Is this okay? Does this give us the vibe that we want? And we of course had, a, we knew, right, kind of what we're dealing with. We're dealing with space and we're dealing with uh, these characters that are you know, representative of uh, space beings. So stars, asteroids, and uh, we're dealing with galaxies and universe. So that tends to come with a certain Vibe, we'll say, vibe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want a certain feeling or you want a certain sound. And so sometimes that's very ethereal. Um, as you listen, it's practically nothing but strings. <laughs> because that's I love what a good love. string. We, uh, that is one major common theme that we had was that we have a love for a good string section. And so that of course gave us the perfect sound that we needed as well. It set the tone, but yeah, we just played with it and we layered and uh, created what you now hear as the official Finding Sersenis theme song for the time being. Like every, you know, great series, season two is going to get a revamp, season three is going to get a revamp, season four is going to get a revamp, and we're just going to have this hopefully amazing uh catalog and this great album that we can later present of just the sounds of finding sersenis think about that you're going like you think of finding sersenis as a universe so it's basically like the sounds of the universe so if anything that is one of like my biggest inspirations going into like this 
venture is how we make music from the universe. Well, since we're making it from the universe and I am TJ Universe, I feel like some of my sounds need to be in those songs. Just me running down the hallway. Just Can I <laughs> slam that door that I just opened? <laughs> <laughs> Listen for some background noise in the future because who knows what random noises are going to be produced by a certain universe that may or may not be somewhere around. You said that you're just getting into to, to this part of the production music, but you've been doing music related things for years. So I know you have to have some inspirations from somewhere. <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I is, know they are alive and well, in your head at least. <laughs> oh, there's plenty in my, going on in my head. Trust and believe that. However, <laughs> it, people say they listen to, you know, every genre and they listen to everything. And that, for the most part, is so true, like, for a lot of people. However, like, for me, I feel like it gets a little more prevalent sometimes where, like, it is a, it is a daily thing. I wake up and it's like, all right, today's a jazz day. And it's just a good jazz playlist. But then do I want, you know, swing jazz? Do I want, you know, kind of more like relaxed, you know, bluesy jazz? Do I want instrumentals? Do I want vocals? It's, uh, and that goes with every genre, classical. Um, I love just like a good piano acoustic session, but then it gets into Lady Gaga, Blackpink, um, right. uh, everything current and modern and mainstream. Uh, but personally, a lot, a lot of my inspiration generally with music um, and some of my favorites, like if we're throwing it back, which is where a lot of inspiration comes from. And even like they have inspiration that I'm not even aware of sometimes. But Elton John, huge, huge, major love for Elton John and his career with music um, yes. and even just his personal career, things that he has been through and overcome and just who he is today. Beautiful. I love that man. Um, we, of course, love like Queen, Prince, Bowie. We have major inspirations there. Cher, um, our divas, Whitney, like, uh, even more current, modern, obviously, Lady Gaga, huge, big. Um, uh, musically, Phineas is a major, major, a more current, modern inspiration of mine. Getting to see him live very soon and could not be more thrilled. Um, safely and precautionarily taking our proper Thank measures. You. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would just like to go no further than seasonal allergies this year. Please and thank you. <laughs> Can that please be the only thing that, that we have to deal with health-wise? That's, mm -hmm. yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. That is, that is, you know, I don't think that's too much. I think that's just the right amount of, you know, right, the right amount of uncomfort I want to be at, I think. I can handle that. Okay. <laughs> we are talking so much about music because music in a way is what brought our friendship together because we in are way. both in a way. <laughs> we, when we met, were and still are professional drag queens. So we were doing a show together and just like, yeah. Fun. It just clicked. <laughs> it mm -hmm. just clicked. <laughs> yep. Two thousand years later. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say the year, and I was like, I actually just looked this up. If you want to know, <laughs> hold on. I'm really bad with timelines, but I want to try to guess. So, I'm going to say twenty fifteen. That is my final answer. Is it right? <laughs> yeah, 2015. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I just had to look up. You said something earlier. Of course, we were talking earlier because we talk all the time. Uh, you live five minutes on the road uh, with no traffic. And uh, where did I go? Yep, lost that train of thought. What were we saying? And our friendship continues. <laughs> Here we are today. Oh, we were drag queens once upon a time. <laughs> it only took doing the hustle for five seconds to get your memory jogged. Life lesson. The hustle, the hustle is good. Just anytime you feel stuck in a rut, just hustle right out of it. You got this.
you know, if you were in an argument at the grocery store, like you, <clears throat> they start arguing. What do you do to that? <laughs> like, if somebody just starts coming at you with a hustle. <laughs> well, if it's like that, I might, if anything, start running because that's a little terrifying. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, self-defense though. What's important here? Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us today. It has been a pleasure and a joy as always. I know it has been, I'm just kidding. It absolutely was. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for Out. letting me be in this project. It really is such a blast and it's been very inspiring and creative and fun. Um, and even with an unbiased opinion of your may or may not be best friend. You're good, Tucci. Um, it's, I can't wait for the world to see this in its entirety because they're not ready. We're not ready, but they're not ready. Okay. They're really not ready. <laughs> and it's gonna be a beautiful, magical experience. And I hope it um, is a very positive and magical and, and an uplifting one for everyone involved. I can't wait. Thank you. Same here. Well, guys, everyone watching our wonderful followers please if you haven't already remember to like and subscribe below you can go to our bio to find all of our official merch and again feel free to comment below and let us know what you think until next time we'll see you later bye now <laughs>